When someone who smokes winds up in jail, they usually have to say goodbye to their cigarettes. But that's not the case in White County anymore. The jail is now allowing inmates to have electronic cigarettes. News 3's Sam Smith joins us now with the story. Sam. Eden, White County is allowing e-cigarettes on a trial basis. If things go well, the jail will make them a permanent fixture in their commissary. White County has not allowed smoking in its jail since 2002. As soon as I became sheriff, we, uh, we made it a non-smoking facility. Doug Myers says secondhand smoke was a problem at the facility when he was elected. The smoke would linger, and the sheriff didn't think it was fair to the other inmates, so he banned cigarettes inside the jail. It, it, it was difficult for a while uh, for the ones that had been used to being able to smoke, but there was an adjustment period. Despite the ban, Meyer says inmates continue to find ways to light up. It was a constant battle that they were trying to, sm to smuggle tobacco products into the jail. He hopes electronic cigarettes will stop inmates from sneaking in contraband and also bring in some money for the sheriff's department. The prisoners will be charged $13 for each e-cigarette. All the revenue will go toward improvements at the jail. And any time we have something that we think may ease that burden, we think this will, I think we have a, an obligation to take a look at it. The county works with a Kentucky-based company called Crossbar that makes regular and menthol e-cigarettes that are safer than other brands. Uh, the metal ones could possibly be used as a weapon. These are all plastic and they are designed so that they could be used in a jail setting and not present any danger to the, to the people in the back. Each e-cigarette holds 500 puffs, which equates to two and a half packs. Sheriff Meyer insists his department isn't trying to make things easier for inmates. He's just trying to operate the jail as efficiently as possible. It's kind of a win-win for both sides. White County is a week and a half into the e-cigarette trial run. The experiment is set to last 90 days, and if everything goes well, it'll be permanent.